Today, we're going to be taking a look at two ease pack bags and which one is better for your needs. We're going to be looking at the East Pack Padded Packer and also the East Pack Back to Work. Now, these two are quite similar in form and function, however, there are some minor differences. So first up, we're going to be doing the swag check. All of the things like the dimensions and the literage of the bag is nice to know, but the first thing really is how good does it look. So this is the Barcelona Metro look. Don't really want to get robbed on the train. So you can pull that off if you like. But let's put it on in the normal position. Actor, please swap. So if you note, the back to work bag, it's a bit bulkier naturally since it's got larger dimensions. And we're going to be looking at what it looks like inside shortly. But now let's look at the padded packer. Believe it or not, this bag is 12 years old and I used to wear it every single day. So the 30 year warranty that Eastpac offers definitely holds up. I cannot believe this bag is still going strong after 12 years. Now this bag has a lower profile than the out of office and to me it also seems to have a better shape. I like the top of it more, it's a lot more rounded and the lower literage of the bag just makes it look better overall but this does come at the expense of overall form so let's take a look at the differences inside first up we have the padded packer now this bag is very simple in form it's got your small pouch on the front to store your various things in my case pens highlighters and plasters and the main compartment is just one big open compartment. There's nothing else in there. No folders or flaps. It's just one big open compartment. Now, I haven't opened this bag in years. And to my surprise, I found a bottle of vodka and a bag of change. Now, embarrassingly, this change was to buy another bottle of vodka. Times were hard during COVID. And I'm proud to say that I no longer drink. Also, playing cards. Probably to hustle people or... Freeze frame. So I'm editing this video right now and I just want to say make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying this review so far to help grow Compen Manual. I'm trying to make some good reviews that are interesting to watch and also I'm an affiliate marketer for Amazon meaning that if you buy the bags from the video description I get a kickback at no additional cost to you which will help to get me an office space so I don't have to film outside anymore. The name gives away the purpose of this bag, back to work. The front compartment is a lot sturdier and bigger, so I keep a notebook in there, some chewing gum, and also some pens, I believe. It feels better, and it's got more space in there. Now, the front compartment is also a big open compartment with the added benefit of having this mesh storage space at the top where you can keep sensitive things, pens, documents, I don't know, safe and not rummaging around at the bottom of your bag so i think that is a really nice addition and finally the greatest part of this bag is if you have a laptop there is a second storage space located at the back of the bag that spans the entire dimension of the bag and that is a space where you can store your laptop or some document folders now this is a ThinkPad T480, I believe it's about 13 inches and it very comfortably fits in there. You can also fit up to 15 inch laptops in this bag. Here are the technical specifications for the back to work and the padded packer. Now my personal opinion on these bags is that they're brilliant. They last a very long time and there's always a bag tailored to your needs. Now this uh, padded packer is 12 years old and it still looks great to me um, It's got a bit of wear on it, but the important thing is the straps are still intact and The out of office is a bit newer So that's something to take into note when looking at the differences between them So which one would I recommend? Well, the depth of the back to work is 25% larger and it has the laptop pouch meaning that if you're just wanting something to kick about in, you just want to throw some cheap things into a bag, I would recommend this bag here, the padded packer. But if you're working in an office or something like that, you've got a laptop, you've got important things, and you don't want the laptop rattling around in the padded packer because that's what it's going to do in an open pouch, then get 
the back to work. Now, if you just want a cool bag where you throw your stuff in and you're not too bothered what happens to it, the padded packer is the best choice in my opinion. It's also slightly cheaper. If you have a office job or you're a student, get the back to work for the added safety of the mesh pouch and the laptop pouch at the back.